Welcome back to my channel. Please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Good morning. I just had a really quick shower. I didn't wash my hair. Um, I had to have another CPR test done when I entered Canada. And I didn't get out of the airport to like 2.30. Didn't get home to like 3 o'clock in the morning. It was ridiculous. So that was two CPR tests. One in the German and one in Canada. And then they were delayed getting my results back to me and then they did get them to me and then I was lazy and didn't go grocery shopping so now I got to go out and get some groceries. This is as good as I'm going to get today though. I'm not getting fancy. I'll do a little bit of lip gloss. No makeup. As good as she's going to get. Just going to grab some groceries. I might run through the mall for a minute. I took my other ring off my big one before I left to go to the Dominican and where I put it. I have no idea. So, I'm in the bathroom right now and I guess I'll put a squirt of perfume on and that's about it. I just uh, creamed my whole body with some almond oil. Almond cream actually I bought some really nice almond cream. Not cheap but lovely and this is just some hair uh, moisturizer. So yeah no hairdo today. I think it's good enough. I might have my hairspray in it. Just so. My bangs are getting really long. They grow so bloody fast. My hair grows really fast. I just cut it off before I left, what, three weeks ago? And look at it already. That's just how my hair is. It always has been like that. My hair would be down to my waist in like two years. If I want to grow it back. I'm thinking of actually cutting it even shorter. But I do like putting it up. And that's what's stopping me. So my shoulder was aching. So I was using this stuff called Watkins. For the last two nights, it's been throbbing. Didn't throb at all on the Dominican. No, because the heat, right? The heat's good for you. Um, but yeah, it's throbbing now. I do got to uh, search for my ring. Hopefully, I find it sooner than later. It's kind of pissing me off, actually, that I can't find it. But I will. And I'm going to tell you, I did in the interim find my diamond necklace. Not that it was lost. I kind of knew where it was, but I pulled it out. I think I'm going to make two uh, tennis bracelets. I wear these ones all the time so i think i'm gonna make the one the, the necklace is beautiful like beautiful but, but i don't wear it so i've had it for 13 14 years i've worn it maybe four times so yeah it's time to do something with it right we'll see what i do see what it costs all the rest of it um i looked for a few jobs online last night in bed and I was really lazy yesterday. yesterday. I kind of just hung out in the house all day. Did some house stuff, but yeah. Not to R&A and stuff like that. I got two loads of laundry to do. I'll get there when I get there. No rush. I don't need anything. So. And I'm not dressing up, so I don't need anything. I came home with clean clothes. It's laundry from here. Just towels and things like that. So. Anyways, I'm going to run and go grocery shopping. And I'll catch you guys on the rebound. Yeah. Hi, I went back. I went grocery shopping. And we got some good news in Ontario. Um, you don't have to buy a sticker for your car anymore, which is $120 a year, I believe. And we get a rebate too. So from the past two years, which is nice. So that'll be in the bank. And I think it comes the end of March or something like that. I um, was just about to buy mine because my birthday's in April for the next two years, because I buy two years at a time, which is about $240, I guess. But we don't have to. So one good thing. Oh, because of that, they'll take something else. So it's whatever. I don't even know. But I did get some groceries. I'm not sure what I'm going to cook for dinner yet. I haven't made that decision. And it was just nice to get out and about and whatever. The weather's fine. The sky's blue. It said it was going to snow today. It trickled this morning around 6.37, but it just was a couple big clouds and then it was gone. Um, they say the same thing for Barry and Aurelia. I just talked to my cousin. It's not snowing at all, even though it says it is. And then I talked to Rose. She said it was kind of blizzarding there, but it says there's no snow there either, so I don't think it's going to last. I was going to take a spin up north, but my cousin had to work, and Rose is busy too, so ah, I'm home again. Uh, as always, <laughs> i got to find a job. When I was working, I liked it because I was out and about, and I had people to talk to, so uh, it was going to be a thought to go up north and visit people, but ah, whatever. It's not meant to be. It's not meant to be, right? I might take a spin Saturday if people aren't busy, but if they're busy, it is what it is. Um, I think that's about it. So I'll let you know what I'm cooking for dinner. 
walking up the stairs with all my groceries. I'm so lazy to the last couple of days. I don't know why. I don't have COVID. I've been tested like two PCR tests and I did a rapid test. Mm, I'm just being lazy. I'm not sick or nothing. Anyways, I missed the DR a lot. Definitely missed the weather. And I had a really, really nice time with Rhea and Jade and Nanny. I didn't do a lot. I just really enjoyed being there. So if I could afford it, I'd definitely spend six months a year down there. That would be the goal. I'd love to. Okay, we'll talk to you later. Ciao. Like, okay, this is highway robbery. Four pieces of chicken for $25, $26. Um, I can't even believe my eyes. There's this really nice uh, Jewish man standing beside me looking at this going, are you kidding me? And like, this is $18 for some chicken wings. Well, I guess I'm not buying too much of that. That's ludicrous. He said, well, I become a vegetarian, but did you see the price of the vegetables? And I said, yeah, I did actually. And we're just laughing about it, so. Anyways, I'm not picking up tons. I'm at No Frills, thought I'd go there instead of Loblaws because Loblaws is outrageously priced and I just need some vegetables. And I was going to get a pack of chicken, but sitting on the fence with that one. We'll see. Um, my cream that I buy for my coffee is usually a dollar ninety-seven, and it's three fifty now. So prices have definitely gone up. These are usually three dollars. They're five forty-nine. These roadie wraps I buy, I buy them for flatbread pizzas. But um, I bought them anyways. I'm going to stop off and buy some Korean. Um, hot Korean spice or whatever that I buy from this uh, wine, witchery wine store on um, Dundas. And I'm going to see, dairy-wise, I just want a small yogurt. I'm going to get my eggs, actually. They're like six up a dozen here. So I'm going to buy them, actually, I think, at Shoppers Drug Mart because I'm just going to make some boiled eggs up and stuff. I'll do that on Saturday. Um, I might look for a place to go have a tan because I'd like to hold my tan if I could. My daughter just texted me and told me to keep the dates 8 to the 12th open for my birthday in April. So I don't know what she has planned for me, but sexy times all the time. I'm going to grab a sour cream and a plain Greek yogurt here. And then that's really about it. Um, I'll go through a few other aisles. See what they got going on. Butter is like seven fifty eight dollars a pound. Ridiculous. This is like, people can't afford to eat like this. I don't even understand it. So that's when I usually get, and it's seven fifty. So I'll look for a sale for that too. I think I have one in the freezer, so I'm good to go. I'm not buying that. If there's on sale, I'll buy three or four at a time when they're on for four or five dollars. If they ever go to that price again, that's what I'll do. Let's see. Oh, I got a couple peanut butters. I got a bunch of stuff. There's no chips. Not that I want chips. I wanted the smart popcorn, but there's really nothing here. Wow, that's kind of ludicrous. What happened to that section? Oh, well, wasn't meant to be. I'll track on. I'll still manage to make a dent in this grocery bill because I bought a lot of produce. I went back and got a pack of chicken, and I got a couple pork chops. They were like $14. The chicken was $27 for four chicken breasts. And I'm not getting smart popcorn, so I guess I'm not having a little snackaroo, but I probably don't need it anyways. I got to get back on track, which probably will happen in the next few days. I'm just not there yet. And I'm going to go down a couple more aisles here and see. Since I'm in the Dufferin Mall here, I'm going to take a spin into H&M and see if there's anything in here. But I don't see anything. Everything looks beige and cream. I do want a pair of cream... Um, track pants because I have the two really cute cream tops uh, so not beige not white like a really creamy color but I'm not finding anything that green's pretty I just bought a really nice pair of green dress pants in the Dominican Republic so I'd like to have something to go with that I I could probably look through my closet and find something but you see what I'm saying it's really basic basic colors jeans basic 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 Oh, there's a little color in that dress. I do like this dress because I like um, shirt dresses. I like that look. 
I'd wear that for sure. I have this really nice long cream sweater that I want to change the buttons on. That'd look cute with a pair of booties. But I don't need it, so I'm not buying it. Probably not going to end up buying anything in here. Just a quick browse to see what they have. I looked, going to go look at the sale rack and see that, what they have. Oh, there's a leather bright dress, but looks a little holly hobby for me. Yeah. Um, and I don't see any cream track pants. But I haven't found that section yet. We'll see what they have. The pants look pretty cheap looking. Again, blue. Everything's basic. No pattern. Is that the look for 2022 spring? I didn't think so. Oh, well, what do I know? I'd like a striped little sweater to wear with my pants. There's some cream track pants here but they only have extra large and I need a medium or a large and those ones are wool and I don't want them I want the, these ones to go into spring so um possibly even summer nights right so not gonna pick them up um the pants that I do want they don't have my size I think I just said that I'm gonna ask the girl if she can check out the Yorkdale Mall and see if they have my size over there that's a pretty funky jean suit but this oh, is Easter stuff's out already I gotta mail a parcel to my niece. And I'm gonna run in here and grab, I gotta go outside to go inside, it's so silly. I gotta uh, buy some mushrooms. I bought some yesterday and I don't have them, so I guess they left them on the belt at the um, grocery store. But I'll just run in here and grab some, that's all I need. And they have chips. I don't want chips, I want popcorn now. So let's see what I can find here. Thank you. Um, where are the mushrooms? Potatoes, garlic. Mm -hmm. There we go. Get myself a pack of mushrooms. Let's see what kind. I like a big pack, not a little one. Oh, whatever. Get what I can, I guess. I don't see anything else here I need. Squash for soup. I have a squash at home. Oh, if you have any nice oranges, maybe I'll get an orange. Let's see if they have any. Three fifty for a pineapple. I don't think so. Okay, that's all I'm gonna get. Oh, I wouldn't mind some arugula for my pizza. I'll spit out there. Um, baby arugula. That's now for two dollars. Guess I get one of them. And do I have anything else I need? I don't think so. Okay, I'm gonna jet. Oh, there's my little Mercedes that needs fixed up. Like Courtney's. Well, hers is much nicer than that one, but oh well, I could fix that up. That's cute, right? I've always wanted a little Mercedes since the 80s, definitely in 80s. Anyways, I got to go shopping here into the brick now. I'm looking for a washer and dryer. Hopefully I find something. I've been to a few places, but we'll check out the prices in here. Uh, this is my last stop. And this is really close to my house, so I'm hoping I can find what I'm looking for. I'm going to get some prices and figure this out. We have a coin washer and dryer now in the basement, but commercial washer and dryers with the coin is very, very expensive. And it's just me and the one tenant downstairs. The other tenant has its own washer and dryer. So well, let's see what I can figure out here. Please like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later, and I'll let you know what happens.